Hey, what's going on guys? It's BrainBean here again. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a bite-sized wireless mechanical keyboard that is perfect for a lot of different situations. So let's go ahead and just check this one out. So today we're taking a look at the Velocifier Mini. It's a 61 key mechanical keyboard that is wireless. And starting as always with the overall construction and design, this keyboard is fairly weighty for its size. I mean, it really doesn't take up much footprint at all, but the board itself weighs about a pound and a half, maybe just a little bit more. And it doesn't sound like it would be that much, but when you pick it up, it really does feel pretty robust. It's got a really nice sturdy metal backplate and the plastic casing that wraps around the board as well uh, feels nice and robust. It doesn't feel like it's gonna get you know broken or worn down. And that's really good because this is the type of keyboard that you're gonna just throw in a backpack and take with you. And since it does not have a removable top cover to put over it, that's really important to have a pretty rugged feeling design. Aesthetically, as you would expect with a 60% keyboard, there's really not a whole lot going on here to talk about. It's very simple, very minimalistic. The footprint again is not very big and there's no branding or any LEDs or anything like that popping out at you. So again, just very plain minimalistic there. The font on the keyboard is kind of your plain simple font, which I really like because a lot of times with these budget mechanical keyboards, they kind of go out of their way to have a more stylized or intrusive font just to kind of make the board stand out a little bit. And I like that they kept things nice and simple with this board. Now, one thing to point out is that this board is not backlit. And one thing that did surprise me is that these keycaps are actually double shot ABS keycaps, which is something you really don't see very often. And it's actually pretty good quality keycaps for a board, especially in this price point. I would have liked it if it had backlighting, uh, but I understand that with a wireless board, obviously that's gonna cut into your battery life. And so you kind of have to make a decision there as to which one you would rather have. For me, I do like to work in low light situations quite a bit. So having a little bit of backlighting for me is kind of a plus. And the reason for that too is on this board, this board will last you for 30 days on a single charge. And I feel like that's a little bit excessive. Sure, we don't wanna to have to go and charge our peripherals all the time, but for something like a keyboard that's easily plugged in with the included micro USB cable, I feel like cutting that time in half for say a little bit of white backlighting for me would be a fair trade. Now, obviously this board is kind of trying to emulate the AND Pro and that board does have uh, backlighting and that board does just fine there as well. So. Uh, you know, for me, that would be something I would have liked to have seen. But on a positive note for this board, it does charge to full in about four hours. And again, that four hour charge is gonna last you 30 days worth of use. And I feel like that's pretty damn good, especially, you know, if you're somebody that doesn't want to have to keep the cable connected all the time, uh, that would make this pretty viable even for using on a desk setup that you just wanna keep nice and, and ultra clean. You wouldn't really need to plug it in every night after use if that gets tedious, you know, maybe just once a week or so, plug it in. As for the switches, this board uses Altimu Brown switches, which Altimu is one of my favorite budget switches out there. They definitely don't feel nearly as good as say Cherry MX Browns or Gateron Brown switches, but for $36.99 for a wireless mechanical keyboard, I'd say that that's not a bad price at all. And there's definitely worth switches out there that you could get. So I feel like the Altimu Browns is a fairly safe bet, especially for a budget board. And just so you guys can hear what I'm talking about, here is a quick sound test of those Altimu Brown switches. So as you guys can imagine, there's not a whole lot of extras when it comes to this board. You do get a set of four red keycaps. They kind of come in this like candy apple uh, red color. They're blank, so you can put them on just about any one of the keys uh, and just kind of use them for WASD or if you want to just stylistically have a couple of them sprinkled throughout or maybe uh, some keys that you use in softwares more often like function keys or, or number keys, you could do that. You also get a fairly long uh, USB micro cable for plugging it in and it does come with a very simple keycap puller. So nice to have some of those things when even some bigger brands don't include keycap pullers. I'm looking at you, Razer. So overall, there's really not a whole lot to say about this board. It's rugged, it's durable, 
You know, I feel like for $36.99, it's a great value, especially for students that might, you know, take their laptops with them everywhere they go on campus. And when it comes time to sit down and type out a paper, if you're anything like me, you just don't like using laptop style chiclet keyboards. I absolutely just, I don't like it. I can't do it. But having something like this, like I keep this keyboard now in my work backpack, just pop it out. And if I need to jot down some quick emails or type something up, just pull it out and you're ready to go. Uh, you know, there's a lot of applications for it. Again, with a clean desk setup, if you wanna keep things minimalistic or if you're just somebody that works from home or pretty much can work remotely anywhere and all you need is a backpack with your laptop in it, you can throw this in there easily and I feel like it's durable enough. I mean, the thing is built like a brick that it's definitely gonna hold up. Obviously, you wanna do your best to kind of minimize the trauma that happens to the keycaps and the switches, but I've been throwing this thing in my work bag for the last couple of weeks and haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. But anyways, guys, for $36.99, I feel like this little Velocifier Mini is a really good substitute for something like the Ann Pro, which is gonna cost you about 100 bucks. So if you're not sure if you like a 60% mechanical keyboard, it's definitely a safe way to go to kind of get you that entry into the smaller kind of niche mechanical keyboard market and then see if you like it and move on from there. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. As always, give it a like if you enjoyed it to show your support. And if you're new here on the channel, I'd love to see you subscribe because I've got a lot more videos like this coming for you in the near future. And of course, you can always follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel as well as sometimes participate in those exclusive giveaways that I have going on. But as always, guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.